Hi there, Luke Rick's Arnold Ring Ring Specialist at Autodesk. I just want to go over this Maya Prop Look Development and Lighting Rig by KV Academy, which uh, I've combined with this Maya Studio Look Development and Lighting Environment scene. Thoroughly recommend you check out these scenes. They're an excellent learning resource. Okay, so I've got the scene here with the Studio Lighting Rig. We've got three area lights set up. There's also some room lights in the scene. So I'm going to start off by opening up the light editor. Just going to drag this to the side and switch to our shot cam. Okay, so we've got a grey ball and a mirror ball for our lighting and reflections. We can see the room lights in the mirror ball here, which we don't want to do. So I'm going to disable those by creating a light group. Come back room lights. And if we shift select the area lights and just Put those in the group. So I can easily select all of the lights and change the exposure. Same with the, the samples and intensity and the color. Change the color of the lights. So So I can tell that the red green lights are overexposed. So we want to reduce the spread of the area light. You notice the shadows and reflections of the light as we bring the spread down it becomes more directional, more like a spotlight, and less lighting on the background. Get very crisp shadows. See the effect it's having there. So I'm going to change this to white. So we focus on the reflections of the crumble. Quad area lights are quite flat and unrealistic. There's a couple of things we can do to change that. Go to the right light and increase the roundness. You can notice the shape, the higher we go to one, change the shape to a disc through the light shape. Set it to 0.2. Rounded corners of the light compared to without it. And if we increase the soft edge, gives it more of a realistic appearance. HDR map to the color of the light. I'll put a link in the description where you can download an example HDR map. Okay, so I've got an example spotlight HDR map here. You can see that it's 32 bit depth, which gives us lots of room for exposure. So this will give us realistic lighting and reflections in our render. So I'm just going to repeat the process for the other lights. Top light. Back to the light editor, select all of the lights and increase the exposure. Okay, and then finally, I've added some light group names to the lights. So if you select the lights, under AOV light group name, we've got top, left, and right. Then if we open up the Arnold view and start a Ferenda, and add a light mix imager, we should see our light group names in the this tab here. So now we can use the screenshots to make some lighting variations, change our lighting setup. We reduce the lighting on the left, more focus on the right. Or the opposite, so focus on the left. Less lighting on the background. Again, we can add colors to the tint.
or quickly and easily without having to re-render the scene. We can also isolate the lights like we did with the light editor window. So that's how to use the lighting rig in M2A. Thanks for watching and bye for now.